But we know if we're standing next to two things that have an inventory, I can open this inventory right here and I can open this inventory right here. But we know if we're standing next to two things that have an inventory, I can open this inventory right here and I can open this inventory right here. Welcome back, Travelers Inside of Havoc here, and we are back on some eco. And I, I honestly, I love literally just coming out here and checking out the views. I really, really do enjoy the views on this game. It's just absolutely amazing. Like, look how pretty everything is. It's, it's gorgeous. But yeah, I, I like to just kind of sit here and check out, and it's always kind of like a fun place for me to start, uh, kind of seeing as we evolve. Um, reason being is like uh, Mr. Saint and Sir Olin just joined the server and they've been hard at work and I'm excited because Mr. Saint's going to be going into the carpentry stuff and I really want to get some new things like lumber to build my house out of as well as brick which we might be able to get by the end of today's episode I don't know we'll see um, but I do want to get going on baking I want some good eats right and you know what? I have a research table at home I don't have to use that one and so I want to concentrate on baking today. I want to be able to make some pies. And I think I should be able to get there. Uh, we, we should be able to. Anything useful in this cart? Not really. Let's go ahead and move you over here. These carts, oh my gosh, they're so glitchy. But it's so useful at the same time. Like, I use my cart all the time. Like, I don't get it twisted. They might be glitchy. They might go flying across the map. But I'll go chase it down and use it again. So, yeah. Let's get you on the stone. There we go. And hopefully you don't go flying away. Like, look, at I how do I spawn back behind the cart? Like, how does that make any sense? I don't know. Anyways, baking. That's what we are doing today. We are concentrating on baking. And we may be expanding our little kitchen here. Because, well, first of all, it doesn't make any sense to have a research table in the kitchen. It doesn't. But, like, I got so much meat and stuff that I've been saving up that I want to use... Uh, I can't even use the scrap meat yet, so I'm going to get going on that. But I'm hoping maybe that goes in like a meat pie or something like that. So we want to get baking. Baking skill book. I need baking research one. Now, I've saved up, and I'm up to like 67 skill points now. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can get baking uh, one. And I'm, un I'm assuming it's under here. 25 points for baking research. Let's do this. And I've now unlocked advanced culinary research, which is 400 points from now. <laughs> That's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get that baking book started. I need, oh, I already have it in here. I've got the 10 stone. I just need to go get 18 wheat, which I'm sure I have plenty of either in the store or in my campfire here. And storage, ha, 22 and 76. So I've got plenty of wheat here. Let's go ahead and make this happen. Baking skill book. Order up. 30 minutes. Okay. So it's going to be a minute. Ha. Or 30 of them. Well, that's going. Uh, I don't even know what's like in the skill book. So I don't know what I need to save money for. But I want to get going on the kiln. Is it the kiln I wanted? I forget. Is it the kiln? It's something I need for bricks to make bricks. I want to make bricks. And uh, because I don't, we don't have a lot of people on here. I have to do a lot of this stuff myself. So uh, kiln, 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 kiln. I know I've seen it before somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, oh, a machine shop. That could probably be useful too. The, this is kind of tough for me because I am trying to do it for the most part solo with just, you know, help from, whoever can help out and uh yeah it, it's a struggle because i gotta kind of spend my skill points like evenly across the charts like most people if you'll see them like i'll have spent like a hundred points in carpentry right and like zero points in civics and zero points in cooking and you know engine whatever but because i'm trying to rock and roll this myself i've got a lot of points spread out across the uh the different you know, groups and stuff like that. So it, it's making it a little tough. Um, I could have used some of these points elsewhere, but it's cool. I'm, I'm totally having fun with it. So, huh? Oh, you know what? I think it's the quarry. I think it's the quarry that gets me my, yeah, this, 
I think it's that guy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, make up the boards and then get a few more stone in here and start up with quarry. I, I remember now. I remember. The kiln comes from the quarry. So we're going to make that bad boy up and rock and roll with this. And we're going to get the kiln in. So, yeah, let's get that happening. All right. So we've got our quarry set up. And I should probably go in the thing. And I believe this is where we make the kiln right here. And I've got enough stone. So I'm going to go ahead and start that up. That's going to take 30 minutes as well. Because everything on this game takes freaking a really long time. It would be one thing if it was like 30 minutes. Like, you know. Like. In game time. So like 30 seconds. But no, no. It's, it's 30 minutes in real life. And so it takes a minute. But I thought I would show you something. Because I've got a couple different projects going on right now. And one of them, I'm going to start doing like a road, like an actual quarry. Um, and I'm thinking about doing it right over here. So I'm going to bring up my road a little bit. And then I'm going to start a quarry right over here, taking it down. Because this is approximately where the quarry is underground right now. And so I'm going to take it this way and make a nice little pretty entrance and all that stuff. Right. But all this dirt and stone that we don't need, there's, there's something you got to do with it. Right. And there's like no trash cans and there's no no like ways of getting rid of stuff per se and then i happen to do this by accident and i i think it's beautiful and brilliant and i'm going to show you right now because this is just hilarious right so we know that this is an alpha and there's still some glitchy stuff about it or whatever and that's totally fine that's to be expected but we know if we're standing next to two things that have an inventory i can open this inventory right here and i can open this inventory right here Right, and so I got both inventories and I can just swap back and forth. But the funny thing is, if I happen to click off, I can control myself again and I can pick that chest up. Ha ha ha. So now I have that chest and I still have its inventory open. So I can take all these seeds and stuff that I've been collecting that I don't need right now and I can take these other seeds and these seeds and these seeds. And as you can see, I've got a lot of seeds. And this is basically my own personal trash can. Um, I've got my land deed. I've got this mistake land deed from earlier. Uh, I've got this one duplicated for some reason. I don't know why. And then my uh, wheelbarrow. Okay, so that's it. But we know if we're standing next to two things that have an inventory, I can open this inventory right here. And I can open this inventory right here. So I can just walk around with this chest and get rid of everything. Everything I don't need. Because I've got stuff I don't need everywhere. Like in every single storage I have, more seeds, more seeds. I've got so much corn I don't even know what to do with. So I'm going to go around and clean house real quick. And I've got like probably about another 15 minutes on the, uh, the bakery book as well as 30 minutes on the kiln. So we're going to wait on those and then we'll be back. Just wanted to show you a new development as I was starting to dig out this area, which actually I want to go get some ramps real quick. I came across a pleasant little surprise and I didn't even think about this, but I don't really need metals because I'm not going into metallurgy or anything like that. But I know people who are going to be doing that and eventually I'm going to as well. But I just realized that I can collect a lot of these precious metals and sell them off to people because I'm a greedy seller person. <laughs> But yes, um, wait, is that lined up? I can't tell. I think I did it right to there and to there. Yes, and then it'll come right up to this little path right here. And then I can use my little cheaty technique and basically grab my hammer here and smacky smack. Why well, won't it do it now? I got to fill it when, oh, oh, see, lesson learned, but that's okay. Cause I made more chests. I can put another chest down and do it that way. That's totally fine. <clears throat> I, I was like, you know, I'm going to have all this extra dirt when I'm done with this and the stone I'll want to hold on to. Yeah. I made a couple chests. The stone I will want to hold on to because I'll be making paths and stuff like that, but I don't see a huge need for the dirt and there's plenty of dirt to go around. So that's never really going to be an issue. So I can just put this chest down here. Oops. Like so, yes, there we go. And rotate, there we go. 
and then I can open up this inventory and open up this inventory and then I can delete this chest because there's nothing in it and that was the problem I had like so and then now I can go ahead and transfer all this over so I can just get rid of my dirt as I go that's totally cool I don't have to worry about getting extra chests and having like 500 chests full of stuff because I can just trash can it now obviously I'm going to consider this an exploit and I'm not really big for you know promoting exploits but then again this is an alpha and this is not what the game's going to be in the end so i think actually finding stuff like this is actually pretty useful um that way the developers know that you have that ability and that uh hey <laughs> what are you doing these carts man get off the chest come on get off the chest come on you you weren't oh man <laughs> I'm like totally stuck here. I'm gonna have to literally train. Well, the chest is empty, isn't it? There we go. There you go. Be normal. Be normal. Maybe that is a normal chest. I don't know. It seems kind of funny. But anyways, uh, I've still got a couple more minutes before the kiln is ready, as well as my book. So I'm gonna go back to digging and stuff like that. So we'll be back. All right, perfect timing. So I just got the warning message that my uh, bakery book was done and I'm hungry. So I think that's a good time to run out of here and go get that book. Those cards, man. Get back down here. You disobedient little son of a gun. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on over here. I'm going to put you in front of the house. These cards. Oh, whoa okay so they're a little bit possessed cool all right so i've got my bakery book done storage got it got it i am gonna go throw this down in the town hall so other people can have access to it if they want it and we are going oh god i'm so excited because right now well it's a zero i'm at about 150 skill points a day approximately and i know you can go much higher and I want to go much higher than that. So we are going to put this in here and right click and right click. And now I have baking and I still got 46 skill points left. So if there's anything else I need for that, that'd be awesome. Oh, and I got more property claim flags too. Cool. So we're going to see if we can get some baking stuff done. Everything else is just kind of side projects to this right now. So let us, well, let's see. Um, skill tree, baking, it must be under cooking, baking, milling, baking. All right, cool. Uh, baking unlocks the bakery oven and a mill. And I also get, um, when I go to one, I get, uh, baked canvas bulbs and flatbread. Interesting. So let's go ahead and do that. Level two gives me baked meat and huck uh, huckleberry muffin. I want to get the huckleberry pie. I know that's like where the money's at. And I'm going to want to do efficiency too. But I'm going to go ahead and, well, let's get the oven first. Let's see what, what all we can do with the oven first. So um, I'm assuming it'd be in one of these that I can get the oven. I don't know exactly where. But one of these has to make the oven. Right? Not that one either. Hold on. I'm going to do a quick wiki shirts and we'll be right back. All right. So we got our kiln and I kind of forgot to hit record, but it's here. And I had to have um, this mortared brick as well. And then it's just got to be in a, a 45 by 40 or like a 45 square area. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of cool stuff we can make in this like aqueducts and brick roofs and brick and glass and the bloomery and tallow lamp. And that's just about it. But I'm really concentrated on the brick. So that's why I'm really excited about this. But excitement must roll on. So we are going to go back. Oh, our bakery stuff. Yeah, I was looking for the oven. Turns out the oven is made here in the quarry and bakery oven. I need two iron ingots and 30 brick so 
there's two different directions I have to take. Now, iron ingots I can get from Sir Olin. He should have that started pretty soon. But if not, I can always make a bloomery. I have the iron for that. And then the brick, well, I think I need like stone working or something like that. For brick, I need stone working three. Let's see how expensive that's going to be. Uh, masonry. Stone working. Oh, I'm already at level two. Oh, sweet. 25 points. I'll spend it. Now I can make some brick. Awesome. And what is the recipe for brick? The brick is pitch and stone. Okay, I've got plenty of both. So um, I needed 30 brick to make the oven, which means I'm going to need 90 stone. And I'm going to need 15 of these. Yeah, I guess 15, 15 sand, or sorry, I need 15 sand for uh, 30 pitch. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I think I already have quite a bit of stone over here. I do have quite a bit of stone. Um, actually, I'm getting kind of low, actually. that That's kind of stinky. All right, so we're going to go ahead and load this up and start getting going on the brick. Oh, wait. What was I just looking at that I needed? Oh, the oven. I need the oven. That's what I need. The baker's oven. Bakery oven. Okay, so that's where this stuff's going to go. Um, no, because it's the stone. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, I'm so confused. Stone and pitch are going to go in here to get the bricks, so the bricks can go over here. Okay. So I'm going to get all this stuff collected, and hopefully, relatively soon, I will have a bakery's oven. Because what I'm doing right now doesn't take any energy. Oh, you know, I do need to go eat. And I need to go collect sand and do all that stuff. And that's going to be a lot of grindy stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and cut loose here. And we will be back once I get everything I need to make this baker's oven, bakery oven. Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm excited to start making more quality foods because right now I'm just living off a of wheat porridge and um, like campfire roast. And I don't want to just live off a of wheat porridge and campfire roast. So I guess this is going to be a new room that I'm going to have to make pretty now. Because the baker oven is going to have to go down here too. And yeah. So I'm going to go get all the necessary materials. And we will be right back. So I've got all the ingredients now. And I realized that that furnace takes a lot of fuel. Um, I, one log gives you uh, 2,000 joules, and uh, it's 200 joules per second, which basically means I get 10 seconds from a log. So two logs for 20 seconds, and those things take like 30 seconds. So it'd be three logs per brick. That would take a really long time. There we go. I believe that is coal right there, the dark blocks. Oh, yes. Yes, this is coal. This is coal, right? Please be coal. Coal! Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me put you back in there for a second. I'm going to set a chest down so that way I can get a stack. There we go. And oh, this is going to be a precious resource, but it looks like there's quite a bit of it. All right, so I'm delivering my first lump of coal. I'm actually really curious as to how much power this gives versus logs. So I've got logs in there. It's consuming 200 joules per second. And these, like I said, oh, these have 4,000. So sorry. So they're good for 20 seconds. But I'm thinking that coal's the way to go because they have 20,000 joules, <coughs> which means uh, they're good for about 100 seconds. So almost two minutes per coal. So let's start crafting up. Oh, no, wait. I got to get the pitch out. Let's just put the logs in here. That's fine. Um... Here we go, I got 74 pitch. Uh, I probably shouldn't be able to put it in that slot. Yeah. <coughs> How heavy, okay, 36, okay. That's more than enough. So let's go ahead and put the pitch in there. Let's craft up some brick. How much can I make with just this first lump? I can make 23, that's cool. And I'm going to continue to go bring back all that coal because I have a feeling that that coal is going to be uh, very worthwhile. All right. So it looks like I cleared it all out and I don't see any other coal in the area. I think it was all, all in all a pretty decent haul. Now I just got to go haul all this back. 
that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 83 pieces of coal. Hopefully that'll last me. But now, like I said, I got to go lug all this stuff back. So <clears throat> we're going to go do that and we'll be back. Huh, long day. All right, guys. So that was a very, very long haul right there. But I got all the coal back to the house. And now I have a feeling there's another thing I have to make, which means I'm going to have to spend some more skill points. But I'm okay with that because, you know, getting my hands in a little bit and everything is kind of all right by me. Because I need iron to make this oven. And with iron, well, I think I need, well, it's under metallurgy, I believe. Um, research. Metallurgy. Okay. Um, that gives me the smithing skill book, or unlocks the smithing skill book. And one of these, metalworking skill book. What do I need? Well, I don't even know what would make it. <laughs> I really don't. I, it's like a billow. Um, I know there's an actual name for it, but I call it a billow. Oh, I can make the mill too. Oh, I just need to get some more stone. Okay, so we're going to get going on that too. Um, but I want to see if I can finish both of these by the end of today. I don't know how long this episode is at this moment because it's a lot of, you know, cutting and stuff like that. But I think one of these tables makes the billow. Um, is it the regular table? I don't, where is that billow? I know one of them does. Where is that billow at? <sighs> okay. I'm looking at all the tables to think which one might make it. You know, I'm going to research this real quick and we'll find out where I got to go to get it. Well, apparently this works out really well. Uh, I need smithing, um, but it's in the kiln that I get it. This is where the billows made. Uh, bloomery, that's what it's called. But I need the smelting and uh, just some logs or some boards and some stone. So that actually could be pretty cheap to make, but I need smeltery and smithing. And I'm assuming that's under the... Let's see. Um, smithing. 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 Uh, metallurgy research one. And smelting probably under that too. I'm assuming. Let's see. Metallurgy research one. That's 25. Oh, I don't even have enough, enough for that. But that opens the smithing book. And then... Uh, research alloy, steel casting. What is this? Oh, tailoring. Um, smelting. Maybe that comes, maybe that's what I get from the smithing book. I don't know. Well, you know what? Let's work on that kiln or the mill. Cause if I can start making some wheat and some flour and stuff like that, that would be awesome. So let me go get some stuff. How did I get you out of there? Put you back in there. Oh, you know what? Is there stone in here? Well, I'm doing that. One piece of stone and one board. Okay. Well, let me grab both of you because I'm going to need you. And I'm going to go get all the boards and stone together for the uh, mill, which I believe was in here, right? The mill. Yeah. I just need 46 more stone. Easy peasy. Now I need 45 more stone. I got this. I got this. No. I have 46. Oh no, I only need four more stone to get the mill. I had 46 of 50. Hey, come on. All right? Come on. Yes, I have 46 of 50. Okay, I just need four more stone. We can do that real quick like. Um, I don't know which way I'm going to expand this, but we're going to go this way for right now. And just grab our stone real quick. And we can get a mill and hopefully that'll open up some more products like bread and whatnot, which I think might have to be cooked in the oven, of course. But, you know, hey, get in there. Okay, let me start that mill up real quick. And bingo, bingo, that's 20 minutes. Okay, so I think actually this will be a good place to stop because in the meantime, I can go get um, my skill points up because I need five more skill points 
till I can get this bloomery. Now, but I'm, I'm curious though, because it did say smithing and this is smelting. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this uh, quits right here because I've gotten a lot done actually. Uh, very pieced together, but I've got my kill. I've got the quarry. I've got baking now. Now I just have to be able to get the oven and yeah. Let me light this place up a little bit. There we go. A little more peaceful. I really like these bricks. And I think that might be what I do in between this episode and next is actually do some decorative stuff while my skill points go up and make some more brick and whatnot. So might expand this out. Or actually, I'm going to get a lot of stone from that thing up there from uh, making my quarry. So I think we're going to go ahead and call it quits here. And when we come back next time, we are going to start working towards our baking oven, which means I'm going to have to get a little bit into the metallurgy stuff. But I think we'll start working this. I've gotten a lot of gold so far on this. Like, uh, well, not a lot, but I've got 23 gold ores. So that's pretty awesome. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you want to see more like this, uh, hit that subscribe button for more content on a regular basis. And if those of you guys liked it, whether you're returning or new, please hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying what you're seeing. Also, comments. Um, please, I, I do like to talk with you guys and I like to correspond. And if there's things you want to see or hints you have or, you know, anything of that nature, I really, it helps. It really does. So until next time, guys, y'all know the deal. I'm out of here. Peace.